Hey, welcome back to another low production value tutorial here. Today I have an oldie but a goodie for you guys. Uh, it's a tip for the Behringer Neutron that uh, I think most Behringer Neutron owners know about this by now, but just in case you don't, I'm going to pass this on. So one thing about the Neutron is that we've got a synthesizer that is hardwired into an overdrive circuit and then that goes into the VCA, and then it goes into a delay circuit. But the overdrive circuit sounds like shit, and I will demonstrate right now. So you got this middle tone control. It takes away all the bass and all the body out of the tone. And it's always permanently in circuit here with this volume control here. When you turn the drive all the way down, the volume goes away, and then you have to mess around with the volume control. So, most people choose to just get rid of this entirely, and there's a way to take the overdrive completely out of the circuit. So, just for demonstration purposes, let's give us a little bit of overdrive here, and a little tone. This is what it sounds like with the overdrive in circuit. Now to remove the overdrive, we want a patch from VCA, or pardon me, VCF1. Don't use VCF2, that's something else. Use VCF1. So we want to go from here to VCA in, right down here. That one right there, let's see if I can do it while holding the camera, okay. So now we've bypassed the overdrive circuit. And here's what it sounds like with the overdrive bypassed. Much better, huh? A lot different. Let's get the sequence running. So now these knobs have no effect whatsoever. They're completely removed from the circuit. The delay is still in the circuit. You can still add the delay. Simply turning the mix knob all the way to the left will remove the delay from the circuit. So, if we go to the owner's manual here, we see the default routing for the Behringer Neutron here. So, it goes from the oscillators to the VCF to the overdrive to the VCA. And what we're doing is we're coming out of the VCF and we're going directly into the VCA and bypassing the overdrive and that will effectively remove the overdrive from the circuit. So, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching. Again, to sum up here, we're going from VCF1 to VCA in, and that'll do the job. All right, later on, guys.